Welcome to my car. Hi, this is Lena from Way to Good Life Kids, and you are visiting me once again in my car because that usually that means that I have something, you know, a topic to discuss with you, and most of it is not going to be in the car. I promise. Uh, we just recently published an article on Way to Good Life dot com about money games for the kids. I know we talked about different topics that revolve around kids and money, and I think the best way how kids can learn about money is through play. Absolutely, that is the best way. And I mean, when you talk about games, you usually think Monopoly. Well, Monopoly might not be best for all of the kids. Uh, it also de depends how old they are. Well, there is more than one option when it comes for when it comes to kids and games for money. So let's take a look at the few. Okay, you guys, you know, financial education never, ever, ever stops. And we do want to teach our kids now how to be smart with the money. Uh, we, not that long ago, we published games that teach kids about money post. And I think that's actually might be a really, really good time place to start for some of you. Uh, we are, mentioning some of the games and I have to say if I'm not mistaken those are probably affiliate links to the games to um, the Amazon site so that means if you do end up buying something I will get a little tiny bit of money maybe possibly uh, yeah so that's about it however let me just tell you about a few games and then if you want more just come back because it is a whole bunch of games in here and there are for different different uh you know age groups so I, look, you know what i did not look at this one but i think it's a uh, ha, ha, ha. okay lakeshore allowance game and you know lakeshore is all about education and this game is all about managing an allowance which this might be really good a uh, game for, you know, to have with the kids before giving them an allowance. It's sort of kind of like a trial run to see how well they can handle it. It's for ages 5 to 11 and, you know, it's uh, you know, $17. Next, we have a game called Exact Change. Okay, this is in a world where the coins don't matter much. We are playing a game that will tell us more about coins. Well, not really history or anything. We will operate uh, coins to actually play the game. And let's see. Uh, the goal of the game is to play all your cards first. Each play starts with the seven coin cards. Each card contains a money amount and color. One card from the deck is turned face up to start the game. Uh, up to start the discard the pile and play begins so you it's sort of kind of a card game but with coin something that looks like coins next okay monopoly so you, you know we say money games you think monopoly and yeah it is and over the time like over the years there were so many different versions of it so this is another one and Oh my God, perfect stocking stuff or what? Yes, totally cheap, five bucks. Get it for friends and relatives and, uh, you know, kids of the relatives and friends who you know are not good with money. Uh, what do we do here? This is a Monopoly deal game card version of the real, oh, of the card. So what that means, it's easy. It's for kids eight plus and for up to five players and this is the kind of a game you can take on the road since it doesn't take much space at all next one this one is called for sale card game another great variation something remote I, from where i see it sort of kind of reminds me of monopoly because you are buying the properties you are you have coins or some kind of, you know, coin-like uh, monetary, you know, objects. Uh, and this is again for kids 8 plus. And what do you do here? 
you are buying all different kind of properties uh, bum, bum, bum. all players try to purchase the most valuable properties for the least amount of money and then flip them turn around and sell the properties wow clever marketing uh, for the highest valued currency cards whoever has earned the most money wins at the end of the game well from this game to flipping properties with the property brothers next one young learner bingo game money okay you know what if you want to play bingo might as well play with money <laughs> because i think that you know like you know it teaches it i uh, could have a could have had a better picture in here but at the same it's a unique six-way format adapts to a variety of skill levels appropriate for small group of or the entire class and ideal for learners with disabilities or anyone learning english wow this game covers a lot it includes playing cards playing chips calling cards uh callers mat and answer guide and storage box Loose change. Woohoo! So yeah, it looks like we have a lot of games that have coins in them. And what do we have here? Educational game for kids. Uh, you know, it's for two to six players and you're counting. It's a counting coins cards like the other one we saw. However, how is this indifferent? Fun and learning with loose change. Can you add the card from your hands to equal exactly a dollar. Wow, that's just like a poker, maybe? <laughs> um, let's see. Each player has a handful of coins of a different values. Players take turns placing coin cards on the table in a row. If, when you lay down a coin card, the row adds up to equal one dollar, you get to keep the cards and earn valuable points. Be careful though. Yes, yes, guys, this sounds like a poker. <laughs> uh, if the coin card you play causes the row to add up to over a dollar, you are bust. It helps to have some lucky finds and safe cards in your hands. Okay, guys, this would be interesting. Yeah, I think this might be a great one. Uh, to play with the kids if you are really good at the po at poker, maybe. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, this would be my favorite one. This is would be probably something for my little one. Counting money puzzles. So just as you thought that you cannot really get your two-year-old involved into this money learning process, here come the coin puzzles they are putting puzzles together and yet yeah, they are starting to learn something about money without even realizing it guys this is we have a lot more games in here so just back just jump here back on the website see what else here might be of interest to you all the kids all the friends and relatives that's about it Okay, guys, so which one was your favorite? Leave the comment down below. And what do you think is the good time for the kids to start learning about money? Two years old? Four? Ten? Do let us know. Until next time, bye!